Hi there, my name is Callum Thompson. I'm a learning support officer for the Business School at MMU. Um, in this short video, I'm going to look at the first part of how we can upload marks into Moodle from an Excel spreadsheet. Um, this is the first of two videos which will look at how we can download the um, a spreadsheet of our gradebook in Moodle, which gives us the list of students and the correct columns that we need to fill in our marks. And um, there's a second video in this series which shows us how we can then upload our spreadsheet back into Moodle to take in the marks from the spreadsheet. So, to begin with, um, I have already set up a offline assignment called MMU BS Demo Exam, which if I click on there, then we can see no attempts have been made, and it's just a little bit of information on it. Um, go back into my area, and I'm going to go into the gradebook which is down under administration on the left hand side and I'll click on grades. Now then, you'll see here I have my grades and for those who have watched the offline assignment video you'll know that by setting up an offline assignment we essentially get a column which we can fill in our grades, it's just blank areas for us to put grades into. However, we want a quick and easy way to upload a lot of grades all at the same time into the gradebook. So to do that, I download a spreadsheet of my gradebook and with this column in it. So underneath choose an action, that's on the left hand side underneath the title of your unit. I'll click the drop down menu and we're going to export an Excel spreadsheet. Now it gives us a few options that we can do with this export. It allows us to preview different rows, which essentially is just, you'll see on the next page, it shows us you know, the bits of information we're going to get out from our spreadsheet. So I'm just going to leave that as 10 preview rows. If I want to include feedback, then I can tick this box and it gives me an extra column for feedback. Um, we have our percentage letter or a real grade that we can export. And we can set it to how many decimal places we want. Now, under here we've got grade items to be included. This is which grades we want to upload. So it may be that there are a number of columns you want to fill out with grades. However, for this one, I just want my MMUBS demo exam. So I'm going to untick course total, and I'm going to untick these other three assignments, and I'm going to submit that. And you'll see now, this is where my preview comes up, and it's got the names of the first 10 students, dummy students, and a couple of colleagues, which have added themselves onto my course. And you'll see there's also the a mark of five, which I've already attached to my colleague Nav. Um, however, we're going to overwrite that when we upload again. So where it says export, and then there's a big black button that says download, I'm going to click download. So it allows me to save onto my desktop. It takes a couple of seconds just to download, and if I now minimize explore. And open this up in Explorer or in Excel, you'll now see that I have columns for my first name, second names of students, their ID numbers, it says institution, department which they're from, and the email address. And you'll see that there's my assignment grade, and next to it is the assignment feedback. So we've got a grade and a feedback. Okay, so that's how we get that spreadsheet down. In the next video, um, I'm going to look at how we get that back up again once we've filled out our marks down within our um, assignment column and any feedback we've added as well.